welcome to the ghost quarter. You might notice there's an arcade machine in here. Uh, truth be told, it wasn't worth showing you me dragging it in here. Uh, mostly because I couldn't film it and drag it and set it up. I mean, I probably could have, but it really didn't feel like it was necessary. And I kind of wish I had now, but... Uh, Truth be told, I got it in here. That's all I really desperately needed. I need it here. And it's part of plan, well, part two of my plan. You'll understand once I get part one finished. But, well, it's not finished yet. It's not actively working yet. That's part of the plan. And you'll understand why later. But uh, where I'm currently sitting on this project is I need to go through it and completely list everything wrong with it. I mean, there was just a random wire that was sticking up and I'm just like, okay. That's pretty much my response was just, okay. <laughs> just random wire. Cool. Hey, fuck if I know where it goes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to learn real quickly though. So, uh, all right. Now, I may or may not have mentioned that I actually convinced a online uh, blog to be interested in what I'm doing. And this is kind of part one of something that I'm going to be talking with them about is uh, lesson one that I learned. Well, there's several lessons I've learned so far. All right. Now... From what I've learned so far, arcade machines should be probably moved from behind. That's like number one, is if you're gonna do that, either from behind or from the side. On occasion, maybe the front if you're feeling especially cheeky and stupid. But no, the back is probably your best bet. You wanna go down here and lean all the way towards you so that it doesn't go back that way. You don't want it going that way on your thing. You want it going this way. Yep. Not this way. This way. All right. So that's the first thing I learned. The second thing that I learned is this is a door. I know, obvious, but when you're bringing an arcade machine in behind you, the very last thing you want is to have this happen. Oops, I can't move. Why is that a thing? I had stuff in the way. So you see, I have to move over here to get in. And then, oops. Yeah, you see what I mean? So my reason for saying that is you need to have your entryway clear. You might think it's clear enough because the door opens and yeah, I could pivot a little bit, but when you're carrying a 200, well, 200 pound pinball machine, well, 200 plus pound machine on a dolly that's not set up for moving said arcade machine, you might want a clean shot. Just saying. So I learned a lesson today, but you want to make sure you have a clean shot from your doorway into the arcade. Should be obvious, but you know, I had that sitting there for over two and a half years, give or take. So you don't really think about it until you're trying to move an arcade machine in. So that's like the first thing I learned was just have a clean shot. I don't care if you think you got enough room. You don't have enough room. You never have enough room, especially if it's the first one you're putting in there. So make sure you got more than enough room. Uh, I learned a very valuable lesson today because uh, for a little bit there, it was stuck in my doorway. Now you might be going, well, how did that happen? Well, what happened was when I bumped into that, remember how I said, you want all the weight going this way. When you suddenly stop, and you're like, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the machine went thudded forward. It didn't fall forwards, but it landed, you know, on its legs standing upright. And it's just like, oh. okay, here we go again. <laughs> and that's pretty much where I ended up was just 
going, all right, fine, here we go. And <laughs> yeah, like that, see? Uh, what just happened to you basically happened to me. Uh, I just bumped into the table, but I just, I yanked it back and I pulled it in and then there's skid marks on the ground because I got it inside and I had the brilliant idea of, well, I'll just scoot it across the floor a little bit, you know, and then that way I can position it. Yeah, now there's scoot marks on my floor. So lots of valuable lessons learned today. And I'm going to recap because I want to keep this somewhat short. But number one, if you're moving an arcade machine, have somebody help you. Number two, uh, if you're moving an arcade machine, go from the back. You know, the back is your entrance. Number three, uh, make sure you have your front door clean and clear of all clutter. You can just bring it straight in and put it exactly where you want it slash need it. Uh, in my case, I wanted it in the middle of my storefront so that I can walk around it and maybe put decals on it, maybe get it looking pretty, you know, fix all the issues, you know, which I'm going to be honest, I don't plan on completely restoring this thing. It's not going to be completely restored. It's literally going to be brought up to this machine can take money slash works completely, not museum quality. I'm looking for player's machine, not museum quality. So, but my point with saying this is I wanted it where I could actually walk around it, get it functional, and then set it over here. Now, this does bring up a very interesting fourth point I just thought of. <coughs> Sorry. The fourth point I just thought of was, okay, if I move that all the way back to the wall like I intended, that's going to be in the way. Uh, it's legitimately going to be in the way. There's no getting around that. It's literally just, it is going to be in the way. And I can't do anything about that. Because if I put it all the way up against the wall and then try and move it later, I'm going to have to go from the front, scoot it out enough to get behind it in order to move it. So I need to make sure that when I go to put it against the wall that I'm able to get it back out away from said wall. That is a very valid and fair and good point to be aware of so that later when I'm sitting here going, welcome to part two, I should have known better and, and tell you exactly what I just told you now. Because I bet you strongly, by the time part two comes out, I'm going to be like, I should have known better. So, yeah. All right. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I mean, I just threw a pinball machine. I mean, an arcade machine. Blah, 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 blah. I know the difference. I promise. That's an arcade machine, not a pinball machine. I just got done waking up at 8 o'clock in the morning, spending until 5 o'clock at night, and then going over and having an argument with my mom about moving the thing out of the garage in the first place, where she's like, you should have somebody help you. It'll be fine. I got it. All I have to do is pivot it into the back of the truck, which I did. And then I just have to pivot it back out and then I just dolly it into the arcade. It's not that big of a problem. And it technically wasn't. Emphasis on technically, but I should have had somebody help me hold it while it was sliding out. I should have done that. I could have prevented damage to the back of the thing. So again, have someone help you. But anyway, uh, I actually got to go pick up some parts I left over there before it gets dark. So uh, thank you for watching. I look forward to uh, showing you maybe not a restoration, but a, oh God, what did I do situation in the short period, next in the next couple of weeks, I'm sure. Uh, because I got tomorrow off, but I really don't want to spend all day tomorrow diagnosing a machine I can't do anything about anyway. Uh, I'm probably just going to straight up replace the joysticks. Uh, I'm going to try and boot it up tomorrow too and see if it'll boot. That's kind of a big one there, because if it doesn't turn on, 
that's a problem. Uh, that, that is what we generally describe as an issue if it doesn't turn on. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to bringing you more arcade-related content in the very near future. So, peace and or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how to end this video. It's... Actually, I know perfectly how to end this video. Oh, God, what am I doing? <laughs> Literally just, what am I doing? <laughs>